After five failed attempts, only one is successful. Using magnetism and our electromagnetic field generators, Async made a pocket dimension known as the Back Rooms. The year is 1982 and Async is using experiments using magnetism and electromagnetic field generators. In one of these experiments, they use electromagnetic tubes and generators. They decided to test their invention on a marble, but when they powered it, the marble was gone. They decided to make a machine that is powered by using magnetism and electromagnetic field generators. They hope that the machine will make a portal where they can store all their junk at. But no matter how hard they tried, the machine didn't work. Until the year 1989, the machine finally worked for the first time after six tries. However, the machine got so powerful that it started prying the building apart. As this is happening, one of the workers says, But as the machine gets stronger, he sees something. Boom, the machine exploded. But as the smoke cleared, Acing saw the back rooms for the first time, or first contact. After the back rooms was created, people started going missing and eclipsing or falling into the back rooms. Meanwhile, Acing was exploring the back rooms using ropes as paths. During their adventures, they found a dead body. The people at Async noticed that the parts of the body looked like they stopped decaying and were sustained for some reason. Also during this time, they decided to build more walls for some reason because they were like, yeah, this will totally help us store a junk at. Anyway, Async employees saw a camera in one of their control rooms, but when they looked at the recording, they were shocked. It showed four Async employees exploring the back rooms, but one of the employees hears people talking in the walls. He asks his partners if they can hear it. Hey guys, can you hear this? But to then they just disappear. Now terrified, he calls out their names. Guys? Jack? Morgan! He decides to explore the back rooms by himself. He finds a theater with burnt remains. He finds a tiny crawl space with drawings of forests on them, a hammer, farm equipment, and a barn. He then has a sigh of relief when he sees a control room. But when he opens it, there's no one in there. An alarm and red lights go off, and then the recording ends. Fast forward to 1996, a phone call is called. A person says that a camera has landed in their field, and has to do something with the back rooms. It shows people filming when one of them falls through the ground, no clipping into the back rooms. Wondering where he is, he asks where his friends are. Hey guys! He decides to explore the back rooms like the employee did. He finds a ladder, climbs up it, crawls, and explores again. He finds some arrows and follows them for some reason, sees a weird drawing, and is chased by a skeleton black looking creature. He falls down a hole at an attempt to escape. That leads him to what seems to be a house, but it's very not detailed and it's very blank. He goes up the random stairs, plays with the lights for some reason, and finds himself in what seems to be a hotel of some sorts. Also, for your OG fans out there, you can hear Disc 13 playing. Take a listen. Anyways, he for some reason finds a piece of rope and a public dumpster? What kind of place is this? Anyways, he continues exploring and finds uh, um, a wall of exposing hallways at this point he says this is real. he finds a fire exit door open it climbs up some stairs open another door and hey we're right back you gotta be kidding me. 
he explores again for a little bit, gets chased by the creature again, hides, finds another hole, and is brutally murdered as his camera falls down, no clipping back into reality as it falls into a field. And that's pretty much the end of the timeline. Video that I based off of this timeline, Caden Pixel's backroom videos. He has only uploaded 8 of these videos, so that's why this timeline is pretty short. But that's pretty much it. Hope you like it, and see you later!